Welcome to the channel. My name is Matias. Today, we're going to talk about King and Black Marauders issue one. It's actually a one shot and it's pretty much a shameless cash grab. Like, if you're coming into the story to find something that will expand the King and Black story arc in general, you're not going to find it here. But, 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 it's a pretty good standalone story that doesn't need the context of the King and Black. It's sort of funny, the Savage Avengers tie-ins into the King of Black crossover feel more like a Marauders tie-in than this. So the main idea to this story is that the Marauders are out at sea trying to save as many vessels as possible from the attacks of Knowles Grendels. In one case, the Marauders are able to board a vessel and help save everyone on board. When the Marauders ask the captain if there's anyone below decks, he states that there's no one there, that they only have cargo that they can abandon ship and let it sink. But the Marauders realize that the captain's lying and they go below decks and they find that it's filled up to the brim with traffic people and God knows where these people were going to be taken and into what situation. So what happens is the Marauders have this situation where they have a very large amount of humans. They don't have time to deal with the Quiet Council to see if they can get these people amnesty on Krakoa. And they really don't want to deal with the Quiet Council either. And it's super cool to see this idea that people are growing tired of the politics of Krakoa. Also, the members of the Marauders see this more like a hellfire problem. And they resolve their own things. So now we have all these human refugees. And what the Marauders decide to do is take them to this island that they have in the North Atlantic. This island actually belongs to Magneto. And here is where the Hellfire Club has set up their main base of operations outside of the influence of Krakoa. And what happens is, these refugees arrive, they are all welcome, and we get this really cool exchange between one of the refugees and Magneto, where Max tells this person, look, we're going to grant you asylum, but please, once you get off this island, please tell the world of our hospitality that we helped you. It's very interesting to see Magneto in this light. So I don't know why this story was a King and Black tie-in and a one-shot for that crossover. Because it fits very snugly within the continuity of the Marauder series. And one thing I didn't like about this story is the art by Luke Ross. It's too cartoony. That's sort of going to be a problem for me with the Marauder series as it proceeds. Because the art style doesn't match the tone of the story. The art style gives us this feeling of levity. And we have this super dark story that they're trying to tell. So we're going to leave this video here. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys next time. Bye.